film and TV sound professionals rely on Matchbox for tracking picture changes. With the release of Matchbox 2 and Pro Tools 2025.6, they can now enjoy dramatically faster, more precise reconform. The new SmartConform workflow executes the reconform on a per clip basis enabling Matchbox to carefully move clips and automation, saving the editor hours of tedious cleanup work after every recut. Matchbox 2 is a big upgrade to our popular post-production change management tool, and it comes with a lot of really powerful new features for both sound and picture departments. It can detect when the picture editor has added new lines, match a dialogue guide track, to production audio using waveforms alone. It can iMatch video media and spot tiny pixel sized differences between two shots. Or even reconform your QPro ADR spotting lists. Check out our full length demo video linked at the end for a detailed run through. But today we're just going to focus on dealing with an updated picture reel and reconforming our work in Pro Tools to match the new cut. So we have a session here where we've been happily cutting against version 11 of this film. We just found out that the director has made some changes, but that they won't affect sound. I think we'll let Matchbox be the judge of that. So we're going to drag the version 11 video into the old timeline in Matchbox. Then we'll drag the new picture, version 12, into the new timeline. We could alternatively use dialogue guides or AAFs, but today we're going to rely on picture only. We now want to run a matchup between the two video reference files, where Matchbox finds every shot and maps its location in the new version of the reel. We could choose matchup video references. But since that's all we have right now, we'll leave it on Match Up Anything. Matchbox will first analyze both movies and save a little cache file for next time you try this. It will then find every frame in the new video and its location in the old video, and then create a set of these green match objects. Essentially, a map of the way that footage has shifted between version 11 and version 12. We can check it all makes sense by selecting the match objects and verifying that the images are in sync. We can also check any of these purple sections, which signify some kind of visible difference. Perhaps a VFX update. Now we want to run this reconform on our Pro Tools session. So the first thing we'll do is shift our work up 30 minutes to make space for the new version. In Matchbox, we'll hit Run Reconform and apply that same 30 minute offset in the Copy Offset field. Shift click the arrow for half hour increments. If you're on Pro Tools 2025.6 or greater and you have the Pro Tools scripting option enabled, Matchbox can reconform your session much faster and more reliably, and without the need of the helper plugin. So we'll select the tracks we want to reconform and set it running. Matchbox will copy each range from the old part of your session and paste it into its new location, creating a version of your session which is back in sync with the new picture. Before you set it running, you can enable a few extra informative marker tracks, which give you a better idea of what has happened and really help in the patch up process. And any of these new marker types can be moved to and from the main ruler to give you the nice vertical line across all your tracks. For example, you can move the visible diff markers up to the main ruler to help find new VFX shots that might need addressing. If you need a little extra help with that, turn on the follow DAW mode to get real-time side-by-side -side videos showing exactly what has changed while you work. 
OK, so I deliberately ignored one set of options when running the reconform earlier. Smart Conform is an entirely new way of reconforming your Pro Tools session. Rather than just blindly copying chunks across all tracks, it looks at the reconform on a per clip basis, allowing Matchbox to move things around more carefully, maintaining head and tail fades that overlap the cut. Matchbox looks within a user-defined window before and after the copied footage to see if there is anything extra we might want to bring along with the main event. Automation is carried over intact, and it also cleans up any scraps of conform shrapnel created by overhanging fades. The net result is a reconform which is much, much cleaner, much closer to your original intent, and takes far less time to patch up. Note that Smart Conform can't perform effectively if you use giant clip groups across your entire reel, so remove them for best results. If you're ever unsure or unhappy about what Smart Conform has done, you can now jump back and forth between the reconformed version and your original, using the button on the UI or on the reconform progress panel to find the opposing shot. And if you prefer something in the old version, just select an entire event, copy, jump back, and paste it. This really is just a fraction of what Matchbox is capable of and is showing just one specific workflow. If you're new to Matchbox, check out some of the Matchbox 1 tutorials. And if you're an experienced reconformer, check out the full-length Matchbox 2 demo.